Welcome to episode 28 of the Badcast. I am Mark Duke, and this is episode 28 of the Badcast. Um, the lining is kind of weird for some reason. I don't know. Whatever. Fucking. Fuck it. Uh, the battery might die also. Fuck it. We're doing it live. Well, not really, but whatever. Today, we are drinking La Charbonnière from Dieu du Ciel. Uh, this is a smoked malt beer, 5.4% uh, alcohol. And I'll read this little French thing right here. <coughs> Brassé dans la tradition des rauk beer, bien fumé dans la région de Bamberg en Allemagne, cette ale ambrée offre un arôme malté et fumé. En bouche, elle est ronde, malté et légèrement sucré, et le caractère fumé s'exprime abondamment à chaque nouvelle gorgée. Son goût, prononcé de fumé, provient de l'incorporation durant le brassage de mal fumé au bois. <coughs> so yeah, uh, it's a smoked uh, beer, has kind of sweet taste to it, but it's really smoky. So they introduced a uh, smoked malt to the brewing process, so it'll taste like wood and old cigars. Uh, I've had a smoky, smoked beer, whatever, smoke, smoky beer uh, once before, and I didn't really like it. Uh, so here it goes. Oh, a lot of fizz coming up. Smells. <laughs> smells smoky, you know. Kind of smells like a like a I don't know smoked meat. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I have this cool glass here. It's a glass uh, shaped like a beer glass <laughs> bottle. Uh, I got a couple of these for my dad. Uh, a while ago. But here he goes. I don't know if the whole beer. Oh, oh damn. All right. Uh, really dark amber red really ruby it's kind of weird because um, down here it's like yellowish orangish and up here well because there's no volume but whatever uh, up here is really really dark ruby really nice color like holy shit uh, you can't see it well on camera but uh, like on white background I don't know, whatever all right let's taste it All right, uh, I'll say this, it's not too bad, it's not too good. Uh, it's a lot better than the other smoked beer I've had before. Um, this is actually drinkable. Um, but yeah, there's a really strong wood taste. Like, um, I've had a couple of teas, uh, like a tea, like hot water tea, you know, like a, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but I had tea that was similar to this, had like that smoky wood flavor. Um, this is really good. You don't, it's not too uh, powerful taste, it's, it doesn't overtake your mouth, you know, like, doesn't, you don't want to kill yourself after taking the drink. Um, but it's, it's something, I don't know, it kind of tastes like a, like a smoked, like, beef or some uh, if you would eat smoke you know my battery's partner be gonna die soon it probably gonna die soon excuse me god damn I'm whew. yeah this is gonna be rough um, anyways all right fuck it 
So, uh, what's been going on? I uh, hope you guys, girls, guys, and gals enjoyed last week's episode. It was a cider episode. I was getting sick. I uh, started a real bad sickness. I got really sick, like a cold and shit. It was horrible. 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 The cider didn't help because I was like drunk and sick and I don't know, whatever. Um, I cut open my hand uh, last Sunday, fucked it up real bad. Uh, anyways, that's, I've had a real shitty week. Uh, I dropped a seven pound weight dumbbell on my toe two weeks ago. So my toe is all black now. Well, the, the nail uh, is all black and petrified and fucking mummified fuck. Um, so that still hurt. Well, it doesn't really hurt, but it still sucks. Um, so I've had a real shitty week last week. Um, probably the shittiest of my life because I've been hurting myself everywhere and everything's been crumbling down. But, you know, I got you guys. I got the fans. I live for the fans. All three of you. Um, I also got this t-shirt. Shouts out to my shitty boss I to see my job. I work there. Um, you can buy a t-shirt like this for like 10 bucks over there, so if you want a t-shirt with a logo of a beer on it, get it if you want. Uh, you know, got a new TV, uh, like a 40 inch, it's pretty neat. I got, I finally got HD channels, like satellite and shit, so that, that's a real Change, game changer. Um, well, man, you know, been going to school, been real busy. Uh, I don't work a lot because I'm always at school. Uh, I should probably go back to doing projects, but I, I know I won't because, you know, you know, uh, hey, what do you want? Hey, what do you want? Hey, I'm, 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 um, this beer's alright. It's not great. It's not great. But, uh, it's drinkable. I would recommend it if you like smoky tastes. Like a smoked salmon, that shit's good. Uh, if you like smoky, smoky the bear, shouts out. Um, give this one a whirl. Um, what else, man? What else? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Um, what I've been playing these weeks, weekends, or whatever. Um, I haven't played Sims 4 in a while. Uh, I should probably get back to that, because Sims 4 is really fun. Um, I've been playing a bit of Dota, uh, <laughs> as usual. Um, what haven't... I haven't been playing much actually. I've been trying real shitty free to play games on Steam. Um, Cause why not, they're free so I just download everything and try them out. Uh, I played a game called Heroes and Generals. I think it's kind of a, kind of really reminds me of, um, I'd say like Battlefield 2 and Red Orchestra. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But the whole, like, premise of this game. It's a free-to-play game, obviously, so you can, like, buy it. There's microtransactions and shit. Whatever. I, I don't care. Um, there's, like, real money currency, and you earn, like, a couple of credits every game, and whatever. Um, but the thing is, it's pretty cool, because I, I haven't played much, but I played, like, about two or three hours. Um, and how it works, it's the Germans versus the United States. It's uh, World War II. Uh, era kind of thing and you can ride bikes game of the year you can ride bicycles there's like bicycles and you just ring, ding, 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 ding. you just go in the battlefield ringing your your fucking bicycle ring and they just like shoot you instantly and you're like shit man I'm on a bike I'm friendly but anyways <laughs> jokes aside it's uh it's pretty neat because the whole uh, the whole thing is uh, based on missions and uh, the German and United States side, they fight each other, obviously. Um, but it's a whole map. I don't really know how it works yet, 
because I haven't played much, but it's a whole map and um, all the, the dots on the map are like battles uh, being played and depending on if you win or lose your match, like it's team deathmatch, you know, like, no, it's actually not team deathmatch, but it's like capture the point, conquest in battlefield basically where you have like three points and you have to hold, defend it or attack it or whatever. <laughs> So basically, um, depending on if the, the U.S. or the Germany Germans win, um, it has an effect on everything else. As uh, I'm saying, like uh, at the end of the war, there's like a, depends on how many battles they're played. I don't really know how many what a war consists of, but. Uh, I played yesterday and I logged in and it said, uh, war, uh, war, whatever number has finished. It took two days to finish this war. Now it said, like, the Germans have won this war, uh, but you can go back to fight. So basically, every, uh, it said, like, two days or three days, um, depending on how many games the, the both sides have won, they win the war and I guess they win bonuses or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how it works. But, uh, so it's kind of cool because it's like a re uh, uh, It's not a bad cast if it doesn't crash. As I was saying... Um, so yeah, it's a pretty neat game. Uh, it's not really polished, it lags a bit, and it's, the aiming's kind of iffy, but... You know, for a free game, uh, I kind of enjoy it. Uh, I play another game called like Zombie, something uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, it's basically lots of zombies and you shoot them. Like that like combat arms sort of game, you know, you have like, you can buy guns for seven days and they, they last like for seven days after you buy them and it's just fucking bullshit, but it's alright. Um, so for that, um, there's a huge ass uh, update coming to uh, Dota 2 soon. Uh, I mean like in the next weeks. I don't know exactly when. Um, but this shit, it's fucking huge ass motherfucking update man. It's a 6.82 update. <clears throat> and uh, let me get some uh, stuff for you. <clears throat> Let me find some stats here. All right. Do 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 do. All right. So um, it's called uh, it's well the update six point eight two, but it's called re rekindled rekindled soul rekindling soul. Um, first off, right off the bat, they announced the new uh, shadow feed model. Because it's getting pretty outdated and it's really not cool. Uh, they basically added spikes to it, and made them look like Terror Blade. Um, what else? Um, a new Arcana for Shadow Fiend, which is an item that you put it on the hero and it costs $35 and it turns them into fire. Alright. Um, I mean, there's. I won't go in detail because uh, most of my watchers don't give a fuck uh, about Dota. But um, there's a lot of changes. Uh, like, uh, there's a new item in the game, which is a pretty big deal. It might not seem like a big deal to you, um, but adding a new item in the whole fucking meta of these like millions and millions of players is insane because people don't like change. And they added a new item, which is like a Crimson Guard. Uh, it adds health and blocks damage and whatever. Um, it's like kind of a mecha mechanism, mechanism, and uh, it blocks damage for your teammates or whatever. Um, like they changed it, they changed the map, they changed the look of the map a bit. Like uh, they, I don't know if they changed the placement of Roshan or just made them look cooler. I don't know. But now there's a new room, uh, bounty room, which gives you like 50 XP, 50 gold. Um, 
they just they change they are changing a lot. Every hero has like a new ability or not new, well not really new ability, but I mean every hero has a change to it. Every item almost has like changes to all of them and uh, it's insane. It's insane. It's a new game. It's a brand new game. They changed the fucking whole game. Right there. It's like, eh, fuck it. Change it. Fuck it. Change it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, well, that's it for news, pretty much. Um, except for that, it's uh, October season. It's so fucking dark. Um, October season, I mean like Halloween season, all that crap. Uh, fall, autumn uh, is around the corner. Well, it's basically happened yesterday, but whatever. Uh, technically happened yesterday. Um, a lot of beers are uh, coming in. Uh, the Oktoberfest beers, like... Um, those uh, Oktoberfest and pumpkin beers, uh, most like cinnamon, pumpkin pie kind of taste, sweet but really easy to drink beers. I uh, really love them. Uh, I love them like a white girl likes pumpkin spice latte. Um, but they're really good beers and I'm looking forward to receiving more of them. I have like a BDT Citrouillard and like a Saint Ambroise pumpkin ale, they're pretty good. Um, also, before we go to emails, I'm just gonna do something real quick, a little feature here. We call it uh, we call it a feature here at uh, the Badcast team. Just kidding. Um, I recently found this app called uh, Untapped. Here you can see right here, uh, <laughs> Untapped. Uh, U N T A P P D. Uh, it's basically uh, Twitter for beer, I describe it as. Um, basically you add friends on your friend list, obviously, and um, you check in beers. So right now, right in front of you, I'm going to check into this beer. So I'm just going to type Charbonnier. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Charbonnier Brasser, 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 Brasserie du Ciel. So, um, I won't show it on the screen, but here you can see like every person who has checked in with the beer. So they, whoever drank this beer. So I've got like many, holy crap, that's a lot of people. A lot of people drank this on the 20th of September for some reason. Um, 22 September, I see all the names and stuff and it. You can um, check into the beer. So there's 69 people who drank this beer this month <clears throat> and 558 in total. So you basically just go you know, like check in, but boom. You check in, uh, you can add a location if you want. I don't want to, cause whatever. Now you say uh, like a comment, leave a note, say, uh, Nice, smooth, smoky taste, comma, if you're into that stuff. Oop, spelling mistake. Into this kind of stuff. Welcome to the I uh, Text app, uh, podcast. Uh, into that kind of stuff. All right. So that's it. I'm just gonna add a photo here. Use the camera. Use the use. Use it. All right. Use the camera. But I'm being better. Boom. A little like side shot here. Bang. Done. Fun like dinner. So I save it. This is actually a pretty long process, but. What do I rate now? You write a note. You write a note. You, um, there's a slider for how much you rate this beer. 
Uh, I'll give it a, hmm, let's say like a 2.5 out of 5. Because, you know, it's, it's alright, but it's not too good. Actually, 2, because fuck you. Uh, now you confirm your brew, bada bing, bada boom. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so, now your photos uploaded, um, you gain badges for checking in like specific stuff. Um, like if you have five beers from Canada, if you have uh, five beers, if you have, there's, a, they're basically achievements. Um, so there's one like drink six of the same beer uh, in a row in a week. So it's basically it, the, the the achievement's called a uh, six pack. So you, you buy a six pack of one spe specific beer and drink that six times in a week. Well, whatever. You get the drift. And uh, there's a lot of badges. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's a nice little system. But sadly, I don't have any friends on this app yet because not many of my friends are really good. Well, not really good. <laughs> I don't have really good friends. I mean, um, there's not many of my friends who drink beer, uh, like micro brew beer, often. So it's, eh, you know, you can use it if you drink Bud Light, but whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to find people to add in on your friends list if you don't know anyone who uses the app. I'm trying to push people to use it to like interact with me and stuff, but. You can't win them all, huh? Cheers. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's go into emails real quick. Um, man, this has been going for like 20 minutes already. Jeez Louise! Um, it'll crash soon, but... Alright. Got an email here. From Mr. Potato at server304.com. Um, right? Uh, Goddamn. This email reads Hey, Murky, Lurk, Erm, Do, and the Exercers for Pret Grim. Pret Grimmentoin O Shizzle Bird Carts Questions Uh, alright, I still got time Number one Earth, you could Has a robot that can do anything For you What would it do? Um, so if I had a robot, what would it do? Uh, I don't know actually. Let me think about it. I, w I was just waiting for it to crash, but it doesn't. It's a bad cast. It crash. So, what would I do if I had a robot? That I could do anything I want? Um, sex robot! Oh yeah! <laughs> um, I don't know, actually, uh, like cleaning, I guess, because I don't really mind cleaning, but cooking, yeah, I'd say cooking, but then would I trust a robot to cook for me? That's a real questions. Hmm. I don't, I don't know. Um, cleaning. Let's go with the robot that cleans stuff, like a maid robot in like Sims 2. Um, he's got another question, Mr. Potato. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number two. If you could work in any city in the world, where would it be? Uh, oh, damn, that's actually a real good question. Damn, Mr. Potato coming out with the real questions this time. Um, 
Honestly, I don't know. Like maybe like S San Francisco. San like. I want to work near like the Mega 64 boys or the Giant Bomb crew, you know? Because um, they're my idols. I love them. But I mean, they're pretty fucking great people and I'd like to work with them. Uh, but obviously, probably won't. Uh, but still, I don't know. Some, somewhere over there, San Francisco, I guess. Petaluma. I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know. Maybe Japan would be cool, but there's it's too crowded and it's fucking weird over there. Uh, all right. Thanks, Murdy Duhastke. Ged Day, sir. P.S. I think I don't send this Juan to the teacher. Erder. Oops. All right. Thank you, Mr. Potato. Uh, for your question. Uh, next question is from Ashil Brayton. Brayton. Um, <laughs> this is a spam email, but I'm reading it anyways. Um, I got a proposal for you. Email me for details via kang309 at torba.com. So uh, if you want to get a virus, kang309 at Torba.com. Shouts out. I love you, Ashil. Thanks you for thanks thanks you for watching. Holy shit! What the hell is this? Uh, Hubert Cumberdale with a huge ass email in a picture of a trumpet. <laughs> right. He sent me a picture of a trumpet. Anyways. Let's go quickly through this because this is getting pretty long. Uh, first off, lightning round. This is a lightning round. All right. First question. Tell me about Spotify. S sp <laughs> he actually wrote Spo Titty, but uh, let's say Spotify. Um, Spotify is not in Canada yet, but I've got I've been invited to uh, the Canadian Beta Access Early Bullshit Alpha Beta. Whatever. So I'm in Canada, but I have Spotify. Um, I really like it so far. Um, I love that it's really easy to install and uh, you can listen to it on the web. There's like a web player. So if you don't have the capacity or whatever, to inst you can't install the Spotify the prog program, whatever. Uh, you can just go on the Spotify web player and listen to your playlist from the internet. A browser, so that's real neat. Uh, although uh, I've been using Songza all all the time for like the past three, four years. Uh, yeah, three years, three, two, three years. Anyways, I've used it fucking a lot. Um, point being that Spotify has ads. If you don't have premium, premium is like five bucks a month, I think. Which isn't that much, but when you do like 40 bucks um, a week, five dollars a month is is uh, too much. It should be free. That was kind of whatever. Um, and uh, the the commercials aren't that annoying. They're only like. 15 30 second commercials, but they're commercials about Spotify premium. So you always hear the same shit um, all the time But they it's kind of just enough Commercials that they don't piss you off Just enough like you listen to maybe like I don't know Six five to ten songs. Maybe I don't I haven't really checked um, five to ten songs and then there's a, a commercial right before the next song but you can't mute it, um, but you can just like take out your earphones, go piss, come back, commercial's done, bada bing bada boom. So after like five or ten songs you have the time to like actually get up to do something. So it kind of gives you a reason to get up, I don't know, uh, even if I don't have. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's great, I really like it. Lightning round my ass, alright. 
Uh, question two, tell me about Aphex Twin. So Aphex Twin released a new album, well released, I don't know, it's called Syro, S-Y-R-O. Um, and it's uh, available to stream legally right now. Uh, I think it got released yesterday. So uh, I think Spotify in UK and RDO uh, have it on streaming, so you can just go listen to it straight up. There's like 12 tracks, I think. Um, I've listened to the top two tracks on the album, um, and I really liked it. I mean, um, Aphex Twin is really iffy. You can't, you don't really know uh, if it's going to be good or not because you know he's. He, he has his own style and it's kind of weird sometimes because there's a lot of really fucking weird, intense Where there's like So there's like, there's Like there's Aphex Twin that does like the fucking 300,000 beats per minute and there's like the Aphex Twin that does 100 um, but this is kind of in the middle. Um, yeah, the two songs that I've listened to, which isn't many, but uh, they're really good. Um, actually, you're able to actually listen to it. It's not just like fucking noise and it's fucking annoying. Uh, it's pretty good. So far. Uh, tell me about fall beers. I already did. Tell me about food for fall beers. Um, basically, Anything with cinnamon in it, um, turkey, I guess, it was one, like pumpkin pies, whatever floats your boat, eat some of that. Tell me about PHP, uh, it's alright. Tell me about you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, have blue eyes, alright. Tell me about your lizard. Uh, he's getting really old. He kind of doesn't move anymore. <laughs> well, he's like 13, 14 years old and uh, he's a lizard. Um, he's getting old and tired and he's probably gonna die soon. Uh, tell me about the grilled cheese you had. So yeah, I, had a, I made a grilled cheese earlier. Um, it turned out really great actually. Um, even though when you flip the grilled cheese, you know, it fucks up. Oh, it fucked up because I wasn't using uh, normal bread. Um, but it was really good and crunchy and a little bacon bits inside. Damn, son, that was shit. Fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me about taking the bus. Uh, taking the bus really sucks, especially if the system of your uh, public transportation system, whatever, uh, sucks. Dick. Like mine does. The uh, STO is a piece of fucking bullshit and they need to fix these goddamn streets. Cause these goddamn public transportation bullshit sucks death. I rest my case. But yeah, fucking buses here suck so much ass. Holy shit. So where I live, it's about 20, 30 minutes max in a in the car to go to my uh, college. On a bus takes about uh, 1 hour 15 minutes to 1 hour 30 um, when it's fucking 20 minutes of cars you could get there in 20 minutes but I have to take two buses that take 1 hour 30 minutes it's fucking ridiculous um, but yeah fuck I do uh, tell me how much you like school. I mean, it's alright, um, but now I'm in the period where all my friends graduated, uh, except for like three, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Um, so I'm in that kind of dead zone where I don't have any friends to really talk about to, and uh, the classes suck, and it's tough. And uh, I don't know. whatever. Tell me about the weather. The weather uh, is kind of cool uh, right now. It's get, it's been getting really fucking cold suddenly. Like in a span of a week, um, 
we went from like 20 Celsius, like the 20s and the 20 Celsius route, and in one week we just plummeted like fucking skydiving, kamikaze, fucking boom, bada bing, bada boom, torpedo from the air. Um, now it's like zeros and like fives. And it's like, holy shit, like, there was snow the other day, like, I'm like, the car... Alright, let's fucking finish it. So yeah, there was snow everywhere, well, not snow, but it was cold as shit. Tell me, please, please. Alright, that uh, concludes the emails. This is a really long, uh, I didn't think this would be that, this long, but, um... Anyways, nonetheless, thank you for watching. Episode 28 of the bad cat. I'm in the bottle cat. I'm in the bottle cat. So now when you're done, you do this. No, I'm, just, I'm just gonna break it. Um, ah. Thank you for watching. Um, if you, uh, what the what the fuck is that? Like a wasp kind of thing, but it's... What? Alright. Whatever! Thank you for watching. For the third time. Third time. Um, if you uh, want to see more of his bullshit, follow us on... Twitter? Oh, you, yeah, follow us on Twitter. At Beer and Duke. Uh, Twitter. <laughs> God damn. Twitter.com slash beer and uh, Like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash the badcast. Send me an email and then I'll, and then, and then I'll, and I'll, I'll, I'll answer it. My twin cat love.com. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, fuck it, man. You know? Uh, don't really recommend this beer. Well, if you want to have a new kind of beer, uh, like a new taste. Uh, recommend it, but if you don't like smoked stuff, don't get it. Um, so there we go. That's all, folks. Uh, actually, I haven't been updating the Twitter a lot. I should probably get to that, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, I need something. Ah, oh, man, that was a shitty fart. God damn it. Cut it off!